All right, hello guys. Um, welcome back to a new video on defense. So today we're gonna go over Big Nickel over G. Um, this is basically all I use for uh, defense. So yeah, um, let's go over the packages first. I like to be in slot CB. So your right stick on the bottom corner where it says packages, um, you're just gonna wanna go to slot CB. So right, uh, so take your right thumbstick and toggle it to the left to get slot CB. Now what that allows you to do is in your personnel, um, instead of this player being able to get um, routes that are like mid, like the uh, mid thirds and like deeper routes, he'll be able to get spy routes or like um, assignments in spies, um, flats, curl flats, and stuff like that so um, that's why we do that so this guy right here um, I like someone that's fast and that has good zone coverage so I'm just gonna put Jamal Adams here just because he's gonna be my user um, so for 43 you want someone that's fast um, and sometimes that can play the zone uh, so I would just put KJ right here you want someone that's fast and then you want your um, your power guys in the DT position so it could be Reggie White, uh, Justin Smith, Brian Burns, stuff like that um, or players like that rather so linebackers on the ends um, need to be fast this one particularly needs to have good zone coverage because sometimes we'll be putting him in, in a Hard flat or a curl flat depending on the coverage um, so and then for here I like to use uh, Luke Keekley. Bobby Wagner works here too um, in my so and then user I like to use a safety personally so currently I'm running 25 Panthers so Jeremy Chen is perfect for this position if you have a 49ers team team um, Really, any 49er safety of its speed. So, Jimmy Ward, um, whenever the new Ronnie Lauder Taylor Maze comes out, you can use him there. And for him right here, just a uh, great zone. And then for someone right here, I like to have Derwin James in Mutt. Um, but in regs, you can have your one of your safeties that has really good speed. And for here, you just have to have zone coverage. And then the corners, they just have to be fast and um, basically have good zone coverage. So these guys are basically gonna be playing deep blues. So 29 and 26 are gonna uh, be playing outside quarters or um, outside thirds rather. So the play that we're gonna call is SS Blitz 3 and sometimes we'll mix it in with um, SS Blitz 2. So it's gonna look like this and we'll just go against um, we'll go against we'll go against tight flex all right so we're gonna respot the ball let's just give them at the 15 it doesn't really matter all right so right off the gate this is what ss blitz 3 looks like so we're gonna go over this formation first so we're gonna grab Jamal Adams, this is our user, and we're gonna blitz him, that's our first thing. And then we're gonna press the triangle, and then we're gonna um, go on the left stick to show blitz, all right? So this basically allows, um, you see that middle third, to drop him down lower in a blitzing position. And we're gonna wanna blitz him, okay? So now he's gonna be blitzing, so we have seconds. Six guys blitzing right now, and including our user, that would be seven. Um, but we're definitely not blitzing with our user, unless they're running the ball. Um, and then you want your LB, so other safety, you want to put them on an inside third. So you want to take this guy's position and put him in a blitz and put him in an inside third. All right? So basically, they're going to swap positions. 
And then you're going to take your aid receiver. I like to put him on a curl flat. Sometimes you can put him on a hard flat if the running back is here. It doesn't really matter. And then I like to pinch my line and then spread my linebackers. So I would like to spread my linebackers. It doesn't do it in uh, practice mode, but I'm sure. I'll tell you it's going to make a difference. Bobby Wagner will step a little bit to the side. And then in a tight formation like this I, that I know, like they like to throw like outside uh, crossers or corner routes, I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, shade outside. So you're going to press Y and then go on the outside. All right? So this is what the setup looks like. And, yeah, so once he snaps the ball, you're just going to grab your user and just lurk. Obviously that was bad user skills by me, but um, that was my assignment right there, the underneath route. So we're going to do this again, blitz, and then we're going to put it inside third, and then, so right here. I like to QB contain, so how you QB contain is um, right bumper twice, so that's what you get to contain. And he's going to throw Stevie. So, the, this defense is really good at sending heat in your opponent, but not sending heat at the same time, because um, don't worry if you don't get all the adjustments off. Like, this is the perfect adjustment. If you can get this, you're most likely going to lock up every single route. But if you don't get, like, all of this, and you just get, like, one or, like, at least two or three of the setups, you should be fine. I don't know how he caught that. Uh, Shaquille Griffin is trash. But if you have a corner right there in mud, that usually gets played. So don't worry about it. Um, this is the defense that I use on online. And I'm gonna show you a different variation after I show this. Up. So I'm just gonna use her right here. Follow him. And Shaquille Griffin, pick up the ball. Thank you. So I have no stick. Okay, so that's the first setup. That's the base set. Now, for some reason, if you are getting cover three ball and you're doing this, you're basically listening to me and you're getting cover three bomb to the right or to the left or whatever the case this is what you do you just deep path both sides all right and this is your play art now so now if they want to cover three bomb you it's going to be a lot harder same setup curl flat on the right and Jabal Adams has no hands, so um, that's a pick if you have a good user. So I'm going to show it again. Sorry, I messed that up. This is what it should look like. So right here, over this. That's what ha that's how you stop the cover three ball. Now, sometimes they'll be a demon, and because you don't have hard flats, you're in this position, right? Base setup. The only way that they can throw on you is the flats, or if you don't use her in the middle. Most of the time, the middle is not gashed because the person you're playing usually respects the lurker. So you're going to be hovering over the middle all the time. But sometimes they'll throw these like five, ten yard drag routes that are really annoying. And you're gonna have to cope with them. So this is what I like to do. I would like to put that, remember when I said that uh, that linebacker needs to have good zone coverage? I put him on a hard flat. Now, when he's running that drag, I don't have to worry about it. So he still wants to throw this. It's fine. But, yeah. So, now we're going to go to SS Blitz 2. You're going to press, shade over top, 
you know, blitz. And this is a risky defense. And then you're just gonna go like this. Now, your responsibility is always gonna be anyone that goes in the middle all the way over here. All right, so as soon as you see him snap the ball, you're gonna drop back. You're gonna drop so far back that you're gonna guard every route in the middle. If they're in the middle, you're guarding the route. So you're gonna press, you're gonna shade over the top, and then you're gonna do this. So shading over the top is triangle and then up on the right stick. So for PS4 users, sorry, for X, Xbox users, it's gonna be Y and up on the right stick. Um, PS4, it's triangle and up on the right stick. So this is what it's gonna look like. You could play on the outside, but it doesn't really matter because the cloud flat, the cloud flats play pretty well. So you sometimes can even get more crazier and blitz your other linebacker, but this requires you to play a lot of coverage. So I just like to leave him on some sort of like coverage that like if they have a hitch or something like that, uh, I don't have to worry about it and I can go lurk something else deeper. So this is what it's gonna look like. And then you're just gonna drop. And right there, I didn't drop fast enough, so he caught that. So we're gonna try this again. It's a really risky defense, but it's like a high risk, high reward type of defense. All right, so this is what you're gonna do. Drop, you just wanna drop. You don't, you're not worried about that, you, you just gonna wanna drop. He can throw that, but you don't wanna run this every single play. This is not your main defense. The SS Blitz 3 version that I, that I gave you is the main one, all right? You just wanna scare your opponent at this one. So, I don't know how he caught that, but that doesn't get caught. So, we we'll try it again. Um, outside. And also, like, if they're going to run the ball, you're just going to dive right in and shoot the gap and whatnot. So, don't be scared to shoot the gap in this game. Cup caught the ball before me. That's fine. So run that defense sparingly. Um, most of the time, your opponent won't do that, but hopefully, these two um, formations and setups help you out. Um, if you know they're going to auto to I form, one other thing I like to do is go to cover two man and put these two guys on spies and say if they're running inside zone and they're running to, to the left. In our case, I just do this and then I like a lot of people like to blitz this guy blitz their running back route and shoot the gap I think it's more effective if you can bump a lock in. oh my god Bobby Wagner just got played I think it's more effective if you can block a uh, block a block like uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Basically, contain a blocker or like offset a blocker from what they're trying to do to you. Alright? So, show you again. You're just gonna go here and then you're gonna drop back and then you're gonna basically blitz again. So, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna engage and you're gonna drop back and then you're gonna engage again. Um, obviously, KG Wright's not the best with this. Someone with like 93 speed. It's probably better, but um, obviously we don't have that luxury right now. So, but if they're gonna run the ball, you just want to audible to audible to two man, two man under or whatever it's called, and then just be on one of these uh, linebackers. So, in this case we'll go through. So, if they don't, this is perfect. You can just drop back and. Obviously, um, 
Robert Woods and uh, Cooper Cup are really good receivers, so the Seahawks secondary kind of suck. But that's how you would do it. Um, so hopefully this helps people out in um, online head-to-head, -head, maybe even weekly. Um, basically, I recommend you practice getting SS Blitz 3 down. Um, and the zones are interchangeable. It all depends on situations, you know. So, like, obviously my main setup is, um, okay, I can't do it anymore because I'll finish this real quick. I can't tackle. Beautiful. Okay, so... I just had to get that play out of the way so I can uh, read it. So the main setup is obviously to do this, right? Um, but if you see a guy that just wants to throw hitches, this is how I play it. You know, a blitz three. Two DTs, two hurt hooks on the X. And then they can't throw hitches anymore. Oh, if he doesn't have a hitch on that side and he wants to throw drags, I put a hard flat over there. Sometimes I'll even put a hard flat over here. If he likes the hard flat, because my responsibility is solely the middle. I don't care if he wants to throw hard flats. Every single time he wants a hard flat and I don't have a hard flat, he can have that. I am not going to use my user to go guard a hard flat when he can throw something in the middle. That's just the way I play, but... Um, so hitches or um, curl routes, vert hooks. Um, if they want to run, I'm gonna put him in a spy. This safety right here is gonna come in. Like this, I don't know why the formation works that way. Maybe because they think that they're trying to block him. But once they realize that he's in zone coverage, it's already too late because this one's already gonna scream it. All right. So if you're blitzing like. If you blitz all these guys like this, my main setup, this safety is coming in no matter what. Obviously, he could slide protect the uh, running back to, to motion him to the other side. But then, you don't have to account for the running back. Which means that if they want to do a drag, you're free to do drag. You're free to guard the hard flats. Because you don't have to worry about the running back. So, because the running back's going to be blocking the safety. If they don't, however, you just leave them in coverage. Sometimes you can even do this and he'll still come in. But um, they're all interchangeable, remember? It all depends on your opponent. Um, let, him give you, let, let him give you what he wants to give you. Your job is to adjust to what he's doing. You know, cover three beaters, deep halves, always have these. You will never get cover three bombed if it, you have the deep pass. Um, so, outsider, if you want to shade outside, this will always guard crossers and corner routes. Um, they like to do post routes, shade inside. Um, over top is really unnecessary in this formation just because you're, you have a cover three shell. So, I mean, it's really unnecessary. Like, Unless, like, your corners are slower, like, significantly slower, like, five or, I don't know, five or six feet slower than their receivers, then you want to shade over top, but, like, most of the people that play Mutt right now, they have their team where they want it to be, and they're already in the range, so, wouldn't worry about that too much, um, yeah, so, this is my main setup, obviously. Let me put those guys back. Uh, outside. Throw flat. Nope. So, this is my main setup. Um, obviously, it's a lot of lurking that I do, but uh, basically, you're. It's like, you gotta do a lot of lurking, but at the same time, your opponent's pressured. So, usually, you can always see their first read on where they want to go, and you can get a free lurk. Um, 
This basically just allows them to respect you and get them off their toes on you. So... Yeah. So, I mean, CPU, that was his first read. Apparently CPUs have better reads than actual users. So. Uh, yeah. Hopefully this helps all of you guys. Um, appreciate you guys for supporting me over the time. I'm sorry I couldn't upload it anymore, but uh, I felt like it was necessary for this formation just because it's super good and um, hopefully it helps you win more games defensively. Um, and comment down below on what else you want to see. Um, I'll release some other formations on how to beat certain coverages too. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.